Hi everyone, we had another productive week here in Washington and I wanted to share some of the top highlights with you. On Wednesday, I was encouraged to see my bill to extend protection for veterans education benefits pass the House. Many veterans stood to lose a significant portion of their education benefits when their classes were interrupted during the pandemic. But luckily Congress took action to provide flexibility and prevent those benefit cuts. My bill will extend those protections so veterans can continue to pursue their education remotely and I'm optimistic we'll get it to President Biden's desk soon. Also this week, I introduced the Military Dependent School Meal Eligibility Act to make it easier for military families to qualify for school meal programs. Nearly one in seven military families report experiencing food insecurity, but many do not qualify for programs like the National School Lunch Program and School Breakfast Program because service members' housing allowances are considered income and push them out of eligibility. The bipartisan legislation will help address that injustice by taking a more accurate measurement of service members' income and automatically enrolling the children of eligible active duty service members in school meal programs. While we must do more to improve the financial security of our men and women in uniform, this is an important step towards ensuring military parents around Camp Pendleton and across the country can focus on fulfilling their mission rather than where their kids will find their next meal. Also this week, the House passed the Bipartisan National Defense Authorization Act to strengthen America's security and meet the needs of our service members, veterans, and military families. This robust bill bolsters pay and improves benefits for service members, combats sexual assault in the military, and modernizes our defense technology. That's all for now, and I'll see everyone after the holidays.